Good morning, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to today's UK weather forecast on Friday, the 21st of May, 2021. Severe weather warnings have been issued by the UK Met Office uh, today. We have a yellow wind warning for southern, southwestern and western parts of the country. This uh, weather warning encompasses uh, western parts of Wales, southwest England and also southern parts of England along the English Channel coast. It is valid until uh, 9 o'clock this evening. Current situation, a deep dark board area of low pressure is sitting over top of the UK. On the southern side of this, they've got very tight packed isobars. That's where the strongest other winds are, bringing gale force winds up to 50 or 60 miles per hour around those southern and southwestern coasts. It's a relatively mild start with the upper air temperatures, but with wind and rain, it feels really quite cold and dismal. Strongest winds uh, this morning are down in the southwest, so uh, wind gusts are reaching around 60 miles per hour around these Irish sea coasts of Wales and also uh, Atlantic coast of southwest England and up the English Channel uh, as well. It's windy across all parts of England and Wales. Winds are a little bit lighter the further north you go. We've also got lots of heavy rain this morning across uh, many parts of the country, so it's pouring with rain uh, currently across much of Northern Ireland, Northern England, down into Wales. Showery rain through the Midlands, Central, Southern parts of England. Now, wet weather extending up into Central and all parts of Scotland. It's relatively mild in the south, but of course it feels a lot colder in that wind and rain. It is much cooler, though, uh, the further north you go. Through the course of day, we'll find this low pressure only very, very gradually moving towards the eastern side of the country with the strongest of winds beginning to transfer into the southern uh, North Sea. Winds will be turning into the north as the low pressure begins to head into the North Sea. That starts to bring colder air in towards Scotland. So upper air temperature, temperatures look relatively mild for England and Wales but are turning colder across Scotland and Northern Ireland. The strongest of the winds will begin to uh, transfer uh, through the southern coastal uh, areas of the day where it's on. And by the end of the afternoon, winds should be starting to get a little bit lighter around these western, southwestern coasts of Wales and southwestern England. Strongest winds by then uh, around these uh, southern coastal areas in the southeast. It's going to be uh, another wet day with outbreaks of heavy showery rain spreading southwards and eastwards as well. So many places are going to have showers or longer spells of rain today. It's very wet in parts of Wales and Midlands, Northern England, up in Scotland. Even kind of a little bit of snow over high ground uh, across Scotland. Rain perhaps a little bit more showery across those southern coast areas. And Northern Ireland and Western Scotland may start to turn uh, a little bit drier day from in the afternoon. Uh, it's going to be cold in the north. Temperatures, temperatures will actually be dropping. Uh, across Scotland, single digit temperature, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and even in the south, we're only up to like 11, 12 degrees at best, really. Um, and add on the wind and the rain, it is going to be absolutely uh, abysmal uh, feeling day, really, for the time of the year. Uh, a very cold and wet day to come. Overnight tonight, the low pressure will move into the North Sea. Wind will begin to ease down, of course. The ice bars are opening out, but winds are turning into the north, so it's becoming colder as the night wears on, bringing minus five cells ice firm into northern parts of Scotland. We'll have quite a bit of rain across England and Wales uh, for much of the night. Gradually through the night, the rain will become more restricted to the southern and eastern. South of area turning drier towards the north and west. As it turns drier, it will be turning colder across Scotland. It could be a frost in the Scottish Glens and generally a very chilly night coming up across most parts of the country tonight. Tomorrow, Saturday, we're going to bring in a slight transient ridge ahead of this next area of low pressure in the Atlantic. Upper air temperatures look very cold for the time of the year. We'll see those showery bursts of rain gradually clearing away to the east, but some showers could keep going through the Midlands, Central, Southern, Southeastern England, a few showers for Northern Ireland, but generally tomorrow is a drier day with a little bit more in the way of sunshine. Temperatures are very chilly for the time of year. The maximum temperature in London might reach around 14 degrees, but generally the temperature range tomorrow is from around 7 to 12 and that is way below average for the time of the year. Into Sunday, the next area of low pressure is moving in off the Atlantic Ocean. That's bringing a slight increase in the upper air temperatures but will also bring outbreaks of rain. Some of that rain will be very heavy and persistent as it pushes across the country through the course of Sunday uh, afternoon. It's going to be a cold and wet day. Temperatures widening to single digits. Before the rain arrives, we might scrape up to around 13 or 14 in the east. But again, those temperatures are way below low average for the time of year. But a trough of low pressures in over top of the country on Monday. Again, upper air temperatures look very chilly. It's a case of showers, if not longer spells of rain. It may turn thundery again on Monday. Temperatures may be a degree or two up, but still well below average for the time of the year. 
The hay fever sufferers, again, the one same grace of all the sunset weather is that pollen counts are low across the whole of the country. And I'll just leave you with today's UK weather forecast summary. So, gale force winds continue in the far south and southwest of England and Wales. Elsewhere, it's going to be wet and windy with heavy showers and longer spells of rain. If you can, enjoy the rest of your Friday. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.